My name is Casey Holtgren. I'm a scenic designer here in New York City, and I bought my MakerBot to make uh, scale models. So these are my bots. This is uh, my Thingomatic and my Replicator. I bought my Thingomatic this fall, and I've been looking at them and following 3D printing for maybe about a year before that, and I thought it looked really cool, but it wasn't the product wasn't good enough for what I needed. And so when this fall, when the MK7 came out, I saw the results that some people were getting uh, right out of the box and felt like, you know, that's, that's good enough for me. I can use this in my work. So this is a model of a set design. Uh, the set design is by John Lee Beatty, and I built the model. Uh, it's for a production of Don't Dress for Dinner, which is playing currently in New York on 42nd Street. This helps a lot of people visualize what it's actually going to be when it's um, three-dimensional and up on the stage. So we use this starting with the director to get approval. We show it to the shops that are going to build the set, uh, the carpenters who are going to have their hands on it, and the painters who are going to be painting it. It's like a lot of this is, besides the furniture, is maker potted. Actually, like a lot of it is. All the windows, all the doors, all this stuff is all maker potted. You know, my favorite thing that I made, and it's the first thing I made, is uh, the little tiny Queen Anne chairs. This is what I bought the MakerBot to do, because uh, usually when you make chairs for a model, you make them out of illustration board or balsa wood or paper, and um, I'm really bad at it. And so I, I bought the MakerBot to make these chairs. I really am able to do more in the same amount of time. Just print out four chairs the night before a bid session uh, or while I'm taking a shower before I leave the house. <laughs> um, and the maker I can just do the work for me while I'm finishing up. I have a studio apartment now, but I used to have a separate workshop. And it's been really nice to have some machines at home. I don't have a chop saw and a workbench and all those tools I used to have at my disposal every day any longer, but um, I still have some machines that make, can make some really interesting things for me. And it's just sort of magic to have a magic machine at home that prints whatever you need it to.